so if you don't already know this is the yes model data club which is a ko knockoff ripoff bootleg whatever you want to call it of the make toys coppola i think they call this the uh, master scale or they intend to make this as a master scale masterpiece scale so here's the box of the uh, yes model now i, I want to have a quick disclaimer here i do not own the original make toys copy of this guy coppola and uh, i will also not be doing a one-to-one -one comparison of this guy against the original make toys so if you want to see that video this is probably not the video for you and uh, I am going to give a review of this guy from a fresh new set of eyes uh, from someone who has not seen, own or touch and feel this this uh, scalp before so if you want to know my thoughts on this guy continue to stay on if you want to see a side by side comparison I guess there are plenty of other reviewers out there that does that okay so with that aside let's go into the figure so here is the data clock yes model and I want to start with the Vico mode okay and I also want to give you a heads up up front to say that I absolutely love this model and love this figure uh, and I'll tell you why and uh, I'll tell you what I don't like as well first things first this guy is rock solid okay it it's very sturdy it's super well built there's die cast inside of it and as far as I can tell it's a pretty spot on one-on-one -on -one rep representation of the uh, make toys Coppola figure I have been transforming this like a couple of times probably three times less than five times and I don't see much of an issue uh, other than the original design flaws of the original make toys version okay other than that I don't think there's any flaws in terms of this KO model it's very well done very well made uh, plastic feels top-notch probably as good as the original is going to be okay so before I jump into the details I want to show you a quick size comparison if you have not already know which is this is the uh, mp10 this is the original mp10 it's not a ko and you can see that the scale it's probably not accurate mp10 looks a bit small when it's beside the coppola or yes model data clock the car should be smaller than a truck and this is probably as big as a truck the wheels are almost the same size and probably it does not match side by side okay and I can tell you that figure wise it's a little bit the same this guy is big which is why for what it's worth I think it's a, it's a very big figure and for, for every cent I think it's well worth now you would think that this guy would probably scale better with the uh, MPP10 Weijang MPP10 and here you go I think that although the MPP10 is a lot bigger I can still say that probably the scale is still slightly off the car is still very big car is still pretty big and the wheels are still nearly just a little bit smaller than a, a truck tire would be I don't know if this is accurate to scale that a car would be about this size but it definitely look better beside the Weijang 
oversized MPP10 rather than the original MP10. I can tell you that. Now this guy is awesome. It's a KO. It's awesome. Uh, but we we're not here to talk about this guy. So I'm remo removing him off the screen. Coming back to Data Clock. Now he does come with two extremely large guns. Uh, probably an homage to a generation one copy and it does stick on the back here like this you want it bring downwards a little bit or you can go the other way which is to flip this over and put it on top so anyway you like I personally don't bother putting the guns at the back of the car firing on top I uh, don't think it's necessary I leave it off I just want the car on itself and I think it looks really nice like this now one key thing is when you're looking it from when you're looking from the side you can see the small headmaster inside driving the car I don't know how well it's gonna pick up uh, in camera I guess you can see that when the light picks him up from the inside right there and I think that is a very very nice touch now when you open this guy up you can see all sorts of details inside there's a driving there's a small steering wheel on the left side of the car Definitely not an Asian car because we drive on the right side of the vehicle. It's a Western car. And uh, a lot of little details inside there. It's really awesome. There are even seats inside. You can see sculpted molded in, in the shape of a seat. And one thing to note is if I pull this guy out, you can see that it's very nice there's no hollow compartments no see-through the vehicle is just very well done very well made and if I were to flip on the other side there's no gaps that you can see through as well and I think it is just awesome very beautifully made now this is there's a few downsides that I want to point out is there is a lot of panels and you can already see the gap right here these are things that you really need to take time to snap all of them together and it kind of fall apart this is a little loose it's supposed to sit in here but nothing is really holding it into place it just sits there on friction other than that it's fine so there are a lot of packs right here right here and behind here as well for both sides and I can tell you that the first time I transformed it was difficult to get all lined up perfectly but you really need to spend the time pegging all these together else the car is not gonna look very sleek and very nice and that's also the reason why I started this review in car mode because it's a lot harder to go from robot to car and the transformation is a bit complex but I kind of like complex transformations uh, I don't really fancy easy transformations uh, especially for masterpiece scales or masterpiece transformers anything that is going on the lines of a masterpiece scale should have at least some complexity in the transformation rubber wheels all very nice the goal is very nice uh, probably not super even uh, not evenly sprayed on but it's there I have nothing to complain with the price that I paid uh, I got this for about uh, about 200 200 maybe 50 ringgit or so yeah no issues very good again rock solid this guy is just 
not going anywhere you know it's in hand it feels really great and you know you can see the stats here they don't have to do that in the in transformation if the way it transforms everything opens up and folds back together uh, when during transformation the car and actually opens up and and from from end to end the car actually stretched out double the size and it starts folding back together again into a robot same goes from a robot to car you actually stretch everything out and it doubles the size or double the length of what you see here and there's absolutely no reason why you know they should fold it back in a way where the stats show like this in the car it should show like this in robot mode but it shows back like this in the car and I think that is an absolutely you know it's fantastic touch now this piece here is die cast whereas up here is plastic so there are multiple layers of metal and plastic sandwich together inside to transform into this car and all of that you know folds up and take place harmoniously into what you see right here and that is awesome nothing much to talk about the car except for it rolls really well it's really heavy uh, probably a bit heavier or as heavy as the MP MP01 now the MPP10 is it's a lot more die cast so I don't have to compare that that's definitely more heavy than this one now the guns it's nothing much to talk about it's just two huge chunks of red plastic and there is a little bit of blue paint on the tip as you can see there very nice touch just a little bit again it's a knockoff they don't have to do it but they did so kudos to them um, now this guy the uh, little headmaster guy I would say you know it's really well done if you have a Titan Returns figure you know that those guys are just meh just average at best uh, this guy has shoulder joints elbows no head articulation but there's a app crunch there's an app movement there and there's a hip movement then there's a knee movement so both legs actually come on focus so both legs actually separate you know so you can kind of see that it's, it's more of a standalone figure of its own and has a lot of possibility on its own as well so really very nice so right so he doesn't have any weapons his hands are kind of molded in there his face is really nice and uh, so his backpack is his head definitely and it opens up during transformation and close up when he's in the headmaster mode okay so in order to transform him into head mode you just snap his feet together like this turn it over and you can see that there is a pack here and here where the hands actually plug in need to lift up his up his forehead review his eyes and then you can pack in the hands pack in the hands on the side they don't they don't stay in really well it's just very loosely packed in something I would like for it to be tighter but uh, no complaints it works now the knees actually folds up on itself and plugs into the sides there's two holes here where it plugs into 
and then you have a really nice looking head blue eyes painted in uh, molded and painted blue eyes as you can see when the light shines in no issues there really sharp really spot on nothing to complain no no poor paint the orange is very well done no smudges nothing whatsoever perfect okay now I don't think I want to try transforming this guy on camera uh, it's it is huge and as you can see it's already taking up the whole screen of the uh, of my viewfinder which is gonna be the whole of your screen and like I said this guy is gonna fold up to double the size of what he is right now and I probably won't be walking through the transformation steps okay there this is not new you should probably seen or know the transformation steps by now uh, I'm just gonna do it on camera but I won't be walking through step by step with you guys okay enough rambling now reason why I want to do it on camera is I want to show you some of the difficult parts so this part is some of the difficult part again there's one two packs and one more right here one two three packs that all have to be packed in simultaneously in the right fashion so that everything goes into place now that is quite hard to do with so many moving parts it is quite hard hard to do again I was talking about this guy this whole piece is die cast and this piece is plastic and there's so many things going on inside here and again like I said it, it doesn't have to do it this way where it folds up to reflect the stats they really don't have to do that uh, I believe there's other ways of doing it that that will reduce the complexity of the transformation and figure but they chose to do it so extra points to them now the fist is tucked in back here and this is this part you really need to remember to do it during transformation else you're gonna find it difficult now I want to talk about these guys later on and I want to talk about the fist I just want to push them out first okay so doing that you can see that it folds up now you can see it's really long okay it doesn't fit probably barely fits into the screen right now so this is what I was talking about it folds completely open and it's now nearly double the size okay and you have to do it bit by bit now we go to the hands here there are some issues with these hands and again these issues are not because uh, the KO did it poorly but I think it was the original design you see how the hand is packed in mush on a mushroom pack this guy if you swing it enough or you rotate it enough it actually slides out like this and I don't know if this is a problem or not uh, kind of bugs me a little bit during transformation sometimes and there's no pin to secure it on the other side so it slides out fairly easy and if this is out of place it doesn't pack in the back during transformation as well as it's supposed to all right now again this is no fault of the KO company yes model that is ripping this off this was in the original design as well um, I don't know could they have improved on it yes but they chose not to um details are all there you can see that everything is there now this piece is die cast here and it's beautiful 
it's beautiful everything is very beautifully made uh, again like I said I think it's a super close representation if not a one-to-one -one representation of the original uh, unlike the mp10 I think this guy was just ripped off clean from the original guy uh, just no changes were made uh, I've seen comparisons maybe a tad bit in color change maybe a wrong tone or color selection for certain parts of the body other than that it's just spot on and as you can see <laughs> I'm really struggling to transform this guy in front of camera because he is a big guy I don't know if you want to see this or not but let me try moving the camera back and use my gorilla arm skills to, to transform this guy now so when you come to this point you see this piece here now there is a pack at the back there right there right there okay that needs to pack inside the gray part oh it's hard to see right there oh, there's no light so this you can see the gray part inside so you need to pack this in right there it's you have to remember the steps it's not hard to do I can tell you that uh, it's just that you need to remember these things while you're transforming it okay after doing that most things will just fall into place click back to chest they are it's just genius how a lot of these things are folded up and on top of each other Something is wrong. Again, this is why I don't want to do this on camera. Having a KO is you can be a little bit more rough with it. That's what I like about it. If I were to pay premium on the original I might handle this guy a little bit different now I know that some purists out there will start bashing me on KOs and knockoffs I really don't care you know I'm all for companies that make things better and cheaper better which what a lot of these KO companies really are trying to do these days and again it I don't know how these guys actually got to do these figures because it feels like it the mold was stolen out from the factory itself everything is everything is solid and very well made look at just the details you know in front of my eyes looking at the details it's really sharp everything was molded really well I have no complaints on it okay so it's done let me move closer Okay, now that it is done, I'm gonna stand him up and I'm gonna put the head on. Now, before I put the head on, I wanna share a little something about the head. Now, if you look at the head from the top, you can see a square knob. 
and how this works is when you put a head into the knob there's almost no neck you know this guy almost doesn't ha have a neck anymore okay you see so if you were to look up it just go up ever so slightly you know there's just this tad bit of neck uh, up down articulation that's because if you were to put it in on the opposite side like this it doesn't go up but it comes down okay so if I were to remove his head you can see that the neck is on a hinge joint okay you can see that it's on a hinge joint which gives the uh, up down movement and you really need to play around with this hinge depending on how you want to pose this guy whether you want him to be looking upwards or you want him to be looking downwards and most of the time I have him look up uh, because he's going to want to do some action process and his body will be slouching or hunching downward so you you might want to make him look up a lot more than down okay and he's huge I can't fit him in frame right now I'm really reaching way back okay so you can see again I want to pull him closer to the camera so that we can go into the details okay starting with the head again beautiful beautiful sculpted head and not forgetting the uh, stats right here uh, again in the G1 model or, or the, the Generation 1 model, it when you stick the head in, it will reveal the uh, stats. But this guy is just printed on, but still a very, very nice homage to what we have in the 80s and 90s. Okay, I, I really like this guy growing up and I didn't have a copy growing up. It was so ex so expensive and it was extremely hard to find as well. So having it now it's awesome okay the arms are just this piece inside uh, which is a ball joint so it has a lot of range movement it goes 360 and it's there's just a tad bit of silver paint in this small corner as you can see here on both sides again for a KL company who is uh, bootlegging something someone else they really don't have to do that but they did so kudos to that it's exactly what they have on the original hands go 90 degrees and again a lot of details everywhere all over the hands uh, the chest area has very nice painted details both white and red spot on really beautiful coming down to the legs you can see that in the knee this is die cast this is a huge chunk of die cast in here and there's die cast in here as well very loud clicks very strong die very strong clicks now looking at the back again the same story you can see this uh, piece here I don't know is it molded on or is it painted on but it's a separate color from the brown and this is gray and they really again don't have to do that I'll be more than happy if they didn't do it but they did again huge chunk of metal ratchet in there and you can actually see the gears and the spring and the plastic ratchets doing its work in there I don't know it's really loud 
Now one thing that could probably improve or be better is these areas. As you can see if I move the legs up and down, you can see a gap. You can see the gap right there. See that? And it goes for both sides as well. I don't know if this is similar to the original, but it's there. Now there is ratchets inside here as well and it's really tight and strong ratchets as you can hear. I don't know if they will break or not but it's there, it's really sturdy and it's awesome. Now the feet is where, you know, I think needs the most improvement now again no fault of the KO this is just a design choice from make toys now I think there are knee knee and fit replacement for make make toys I don't think they incorporate the uh, the uh, add-ons in this model the fit is just held on by if I push this up you can see that it's a ball joint right here okay now the problem I think is because the ball joint is situated on the side going into the the holder which is this gray piece here from the side usual ball joints for feet are from the bottom uh, going into the foot and because it's on the side like this the joints are kind of kind of loose kind of weird right it it does provide the angles necessary for a foot no problems with that but it's it, it's just probably not enough to hold the weight of the figure that much now it's loose but it will still stand up no problems it, it can be a tad bit tight tighter that's what I'm trying to say and uh, the gap here is just being covered by this piece that doesn't click in or snap into place whatsoever so uh, there is a gap depending on how you want to situate this piece and it gets stuck sometimes you know and when you're posing it it's just kind of annoying to have to move that around and this kind of stuff happens like this guy comes out and this guy goes in and uh, it's just I don't know it's just not great now fit is the only part that you know takes away a little bit from this figure but again no fault of the uh, yes model that is ripping the uh, original one off it's just the uh, flaw of the original design to start with okay now going to the guns uh, I've seen some reviews where there are issues sliding the guns into the hands now I want to show here is the hands there are grooves in the hands okay right there that will accept the grooves from the guns okay there are grooves here that slides in now I've seen reviews where there are difficulties sliding the uh, guns in I tried on mine and there are no issues it fits perfectly into the hand now both sides fit in perfectly into the hand I don't have any issues out of the box it's a tight fit which is really good and you get it once you get it in it's super snug you know you can hold him by the guns and you know dance with it it's not going anywhere you can do the roboto dance and he's not going anywhere 
so it, it's it's very well done I don't know if it's a copy uh, issue for the particular reviewer I think Ben's collectibles who has issues with the guns going into the hands mine mine doesn't have that issue and yeah it's perfect now uh, coming to the back okay you can see that that it's a bit of a gap here again not a KO issue it's an original design silver paint on the back awesome more details inside which they can skip but they didn't everything it's there in place again just the feet it's a little bit worrisome uh, where it's not able to hold the figure but overall I think it's really great like I said I really love this guy I'm going to come back again with the size comparison with MP10 and MPP10 so here we have a size comparison of the uh, Yes Model Data Cut with the original MP10 and the Wei Jiang oversized MPP10. Now on your shelf, you already can tell that it scales a lot better with the MPP10 uh, oversized MPP10 from Wei Jiang. And again, I absolutely love the Wei Jiang uh, oversized MPP10. It's just so much better built compared to the original MP10 now if you have both of those guys in hand it makes the MP10 feel like a knockoff now this falls right into my conclusion for this review should you get the uh, yes model that a cock my answer would be absolutely yes if you don't have the original make toys model this is the one to get if you are contemplating whether you should get it or not my answer is get it in a heartbeat just go out and buy this one it's really good now uh, KO companies have really come a long way and again it's not like I don't want to support the originals I've come to a point where I am starting to sell off my originals and buying KOs. Uh, selling off my originals for slightly higher price and buying these uh, high quality KOs for a lot cheaper price. Again, these uh, KOs are going for almost less than half of the original. And uh, it's really good and sometimes even better than the original not to say that I do not want to support the original I am at a point where I'm kind of disappointed with the original because the originals that I got constantly get ripped off or KOs getting produced for the originals and it just devalues my original copies and because of that, you know, I, I just feel that it's no longer worth investing in original copies. Uh, and like I said, I'm starting to sell off my original copies to just buy these uh, KOs because most of the time they are just going to be in a nice, uh, behind a very nice display cabinet, standing there looking all pretty. And the KO can pretty much do it very well or maybe better than the original okay so I do not know if you share the same thoughts if you don't it's fine if you do then kudos uh, you know I, I, I just cannot invest in originals that much anymore unless I know it's a very rare item uh, else I won't be investing my money into originals and I will get knockoffs like this in a heartbeat 
okay uh, if you have any questions for the uh, data clock hit me up on the comments and uh, I will gladly answer you if you have any doubts or questions just hit me up okay I'll be reviewing the uh, THF sonic wave or sound wave next uh, so stay tuned goodbye